We're going to do a unboxing of this Key Forge Worlds Collide game in a minute. I just did a video unboxing these two things. Uh, I wanted to show y'all that uh, here's what I saved at Bergenhut. SMA retail value $65.34 on just these items. Plus, um, there was some oatmeal stuff. Uh, I'll show you the oatmeal stuff in a minute. Um... Bargain hunt savings was $32.34. Additional savings was $24.75. You paid, excluding taxes, $8.25. So the total savings was $57.09. A 7%. Is this even close to like $60 bucks worth of stuff? Even if I add this stuff right here. Even with this extra oatmeal here. Overnight oats. This is like $6 bucks, but it was 75% off too. I'm gonna have to test it for you. I put some, I already got some ready for in the morning. Might be ready, I don't know when, how long it takes to get ready. But it says add milk, at, add milk at night, enjoy cold next day. Why don't you try it? Anyway, with 12 of those things, plus those other, plus this board game, well card game thing, So this is board game. Keyforge Worlds Club. This incredible chick and this ready to rumble robot thing. How the hell is that anywhere close to $60 worth of stuff? Prices are too expensive nowadays if that's $60 worth of stuff. That I got for. It says here I got it for $8.25. Plus 62 cents and nine cents. There's two different government taxes. Taxation is theft. Eight ninety-seven. So I got all this stuff for less than ten bucks. That's supposedly up to almost fifty-seven oh nine. So if you add the ten dollars to that, that's like sixty plus dollars worth of stuff for less than ten bucks. How the hell is this? Uh, this is all the stuff there is plus the oatmeal. How the hell is that $60 worth of stuff? Comment down below if you think that is just way too damn high. Because I think that's too damn high to be $60 worth of stuff. No. That's not $60 worth of stuff. I probably over... In my opinion, if it wasn't for this game, I think that I overpaid... Well, I got all that oatmeal too, so I guess that's like 12 things of oatmeal, so... Maybe eight, nine dollars is of stuff is a valuable amount. But if that oatmeal ain't good, then it's definitely not. Anyway, we're fixing to unbox this key forge. Yeah. That's a smasher, by the way. You just smash stuff. See, so you take like potatoes or anything else and you just smash. Smash, 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 and you smash it, and you smash like Hulk does with his when he smashes stuff. But with this, it's a smasher or a masher. Smash, 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 like this. Smash, 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 smash potatoes. This is how you smash potatoes. This is how you smash potatoes, and make mash, smash, 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 smash. Smash. Okay, I know you're having fun. Smash. See, I told y'all during that Norm interview that you never know what I'm going to do. Random crazy junk. So, Key Forge. This guy kind of reminds me from the, of the Triceratons from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this kind of reminds me of the Scrap Droid from Star Wars. And this is just uh, reminds me of just like an astronaut person, dude. It. Key Forge. Now we'll get to the unboxing video of the Key Forge Worlds collab. It's actually starter set number three because it said so somewhere on there. <laughs> that might earlier. Be so. Key Forge Worlds collab. Worlds will collide in the third C third set of Key Forge decks. In this exciting game where no two decks are alike, two players race to forge keys to unlock the hidden vaults of the cubicle. 
with an incredible array of creatures, artifacts, and abilities. Each deck is one of a kind, and no two battles will ever be the same. Two new houses join the fray. Worlds Collide features 284 new cards, creating an entirely new pool of unique decks. So there's more decks you can buy from this series. But all you really need is one of these two-player starter sets. But there, you can buy more. <laughs> creating an entirely new pool of unique decks for you to discover, explore, and master. So this is like a trading card game, sort of, kind of. Sort of, sort of, kind of. With this, world's with this starter set, you'll find two completely unique Archean decks, which you can mix and mi 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 mix and match, mix and match with each other, of course. Each offering a combination of cards unlike any other deck in existence. Contains everything two players need to start playing Keyforge. This starter set contains everything you need to play for two players to begin playing Keyforge. With two unique Archean decks, which are probably mix and matchable, 44 status counters, 6 key tokens, 2 chain trackers and chain tracker tokens, 22 amber tokens, 22 damage tokens, 1 quick start rule book, and 2 post up playmats! All for $16. Original price $27. Uh. That's probably about how much this thing would sell for brand new is about 20, 20 to $30. So that's about right. Uh, $16, but knocked off at 75% off. So that's like $160, $160 is $3.20 $3 plus half of a dollar sixty is $50, $60, $70, $0.80. So this is like, what, $3.00? Three, four, this is like four dollars. Yeah, four dollars. Which I could have did the math easier. Four times four is 16, so yeah, it's four dollars. I don't know why I did the math the long way, but it's easier for me to break it down and do math sometimes. Let's see what kind of crazy artwork it has on this box. Oh man, look at this dinosaur looking guy. Dinosaur. Roman centurion gladiator looking dinosaur guy. That's kind of cool. Then we got this like weird looking techno alien creature. Looks That's like, kind of cool. Looks like vanilla ice cream. Mmm, vanilla ice cream potatoes. Tastes good. Let me try. Did I get enough salt? No. So that. let's open it up. Now that it's opened and opened, opened up, you can see all the art a little better. So here's everything inside. Key worlds. Flourish. So this is like the rules. I guess. You want the rest? Here's a bunch of like punching out stuff. Got some? No, I don't have any gravy. Here's the proof of purchase. You didn't ask for that. You asked Here's for Here's a one. six. All kinds of different punch out stuff. It's kind of cool. I don't know what all this punch out stuff is for, but you know. What we have to have is oil. A bunch of different punch out counters. Is that going to be enough? That. This looks like a trekking thing for your abilities and skills and whatnot. So that's cool. And here are the two posters. And here are the two dicks. And here is a black and white image. Here's a black and white image of the image on the box. So there is the front and back of the box. Here's the rules. Here's the two decks, which have the same image on the two decks okay. as the image on the box. Gosh. Contains one unique ready-to-play Archean deck. 
contains one unique ready to play Archie and Dick. Um, unlike a world where anything's possible, two houses, two new houses join the floor. Worlds collide. Features two eighty-four new cards. Blah blah blah. I've already read all that. Um, I guess you can buy these decks separately, probably just like this. Probably. See. At probably the hobby store or whatever. This is the rules, which okay, are folding out rules. The rules. Quick start game rules. Welcome to Cubicle Overview, which is the same overview as on the back of the box. Set up the different fat. What the different tokens? Those are amber tokens, damage tokens, stun counters, power counters, enrage counters, and ward counters. How to win the game. How to play the game. Step one, forge a key. Step two, choose a house. Step three, play discard and use cards of active house. Step four, ready your cards. Step five, draw all your cards. Quick reference. Got playing cards. You got amber bonuses. Play abilities. Entering play exhausted. Card types. Which you got are... Action cards, artifact cards, creature cards, upgrade cards. Artifacts, upgrades, creatures. Examples. Then more rules on the back. Another example. Discarding cards. You using cards. Reaping. Discard pal. Initiation action results. Card abilities. Fightings. Damage. I am not to that yet. Uh, oh. shh, shh. Example, okay. Keyforge Master Vault, Advanced Concepts, Archives, Capture, Chain, Chain, Chain Tracker, Do As Much As You Can, Enrage, Exalt, Plus One Power, Splash, Stun, Omni, Ward, Keywords like Alpha, Assault, Deploy, Elusive, Hazardous, Omega, Poison, Skirmish, and Taunt. The Unique Deck Game. See, there's more you can buy. It shows that you can buy more. Two Unique Worlds Collide Dukes. Credits. All the different people who worked in it. Playtesters. Buy Fantasy Flight Games. You can download on the App Store. Uh, yeah. Those are rules. Those are rules. Rules. Now we have poster number one, which looks like it's for the dinosaur medieval Roman days dinosaur soldier faction. We have a place to put your identity cards, your deck, your discard pile, and your archives, and your three different battle zones or whatever. Um, you can put this is your battle line this is where your artifacts go and check out that dino it's like a t-rex with roman centurion like armor on and he's got like a knight if a t-rex was an already badass on its own think of what one would be like if it w evolved into like human and could wear armor and carry swords yeah super badass <sighs> That's a concept I had a long time ago, too, about, like, raptors turning into, like, humans that could fight. But this looks like it's supposed to be a T-Rex. It might be supposed to be a raptor. Could be a raptor. But you see some in the background, too. But on the front cover, you see like a Triceratops soldier that looks just like, he's like a Triceratops that's kind of evolved to have working hand arms like a human. But it's still like medieval Roman centurion type deal. That's pretty cool. Nice. So that's pretty cool. Get back, Dino. And next is the Techno Faction Alien Race, which is right here. 
and I think he's back here too. We'll check him out in this playbed. We also have humans. Oh, this is the human. Humans and techno people working together. Human. We got this space babe here. Space babe. She's a sexy space babe soldier. Anyway, we got Keyforge. And you got the human sexy space soldier. <coughs> Maybe that's what uh, Donald Trump's Space Force will look like. Um, identity cards, deck, discard pal, archives, these things. Battle line, artifacts. So each player has their own unique board. That's cool. So we have two decks and they're unique and they're probably mix and matchable. And here is our deck list. Then again, these might not be. This is the Slimy Hermit Tetra of Earthden, and this is the Mists of Greenberg set. So each, so these are the two new factions, I suppose. Let's check out the Slimy Hermit Tetra of Earthden cards first. I like how it has this uh, card here that tells us our deck. We have cards number 187 through... Th okay. 211 are Sirlon. Then our Shadows are 237. 274 and Untamed are 253 and 23. The numbers aren't exactly the same on these cards. So, okay, that's, cool. that's interesting. We have Inca the Spider. Wild Spirit, Low Down, Fog Bank, Unsuspected Prey, The Fittest, Ragwolf, Mystic Mermook, Imprinted Mammook, Ghost Hawk, Bramble Lynx, another Bramble Lynx, Mac the Knife, Into the Night, Yahtzee Gang, Trust No One, Ronnie Whist Clocks, Preston Blow, Mug, Jay Venda, Hugger Mugger, Hawk, another Hawk, Breaker Hill, Pterodactyl, Paraguardian, Tribute, Theocenturion, see that's one of those dinosaur creatures, Rector Galium, Questar Jarta, Pharisus Lindo, another one of those, Phalax Strike, Felix Strike, but with dinosaur humanoid creatures doing the Felix. Odoric Patrician. Legatus Raptor. And that's the Slimy Herbert Treacher of Earthen deck. Next up, we got the Mists of Greenberg deck. In this deck, we have the Mist of Greenberg, Jimberg deck. We got Brobnar cards, which are three through six. We got Shadows. We got Star Alliance. We got Disruption Field. Crash Malden. A gun called the Stunner. Lay of the Land. Stealth Mode, Medic Ingram, uh. Light of the Archians, Commander Chan, two Commander Chans, Cloaking Dungle, which looks kind of like a uh, Fault Boys thing, Chief Engineering Walls, two of those, Silvertooth, 
Finch Cloak, Whisper, Subtle Chin, Skeleton Key, Chain Gang, Umbra, two of those, Ronnie Whist Clocks, Kmore Eclipse, Breaker Heel, two of those, Mog Hunter's Brew, Mega Mog Hunter. It's got great art on these cards. Signal Fire, Iron Obelisk, Stiltkin, Shorty. You know, he's probably really tall, or he's a dwarf. Two of those. <laughs> he's a giant, that's what he is. Narp. Well, I guess you need giants to fight dinosaurs. Grown Nine Toes. Danger Chieftain. Berserker Slam. Volcano. And that would be our Mist of Gimberg deck. So that's everything we, you get in the two-player starter set. But, the interesting thing is if you buy other, there's three different two-player starter sets to get. So you might get another uh, set of cards. And then you can buy additional packs. And every additional pack is unique. So that's kind of cool. This is a game by Richard Garfield. Unique deck game by Richard Garfield called Keyforge Worlds Collide. Very interesting. Remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. <sighs> Jesus loves you. Jesus is God. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is King. Jesus is ruler of everything. Uh, game on. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and um, hope you enjoyed a little quick. Well, maybe not quick, but a little overview of the game Key Forge Worlds Collide. And I hope y'all have a great day. And um, you might want to. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the silly stuff that went on in the video, too. And that. Um, uh, that little introduction thing. I hope y'all enjoyed that, too. And you see, I was just showing you, because occasionally I like to show y'all, the viewers, how I can get these games and how I can get the things at such good deals and cheap prices. That's why you got to shop around, buy the sales, and don't buy new. Go to thrift stores, discount stores, secondhand stores, whatever you have to do. But do not pay full price for stuff. Come on. If you can get away with it, don't do it. <laughs> Thrift stores. Consignment stores. Second hand shops. Overstock shops. Etc. Etc. Whatever you can do. If you can get away with it, do it. And these are good. Get you some Reese's Puff Streets. They're good. These are good. Get you some Lucky Charm treats. They're good. These are good. Get you some Cinnamon Toast Crunch treats. They're good. All three of these are good. Look, in this video episode of Key Forge Worlds Collide, I made Worlds Collide because I showed you about some other stuff I did. And now I'm showing you about cereal. What the heck? Come on. This is a crazy stuff. See, Worlds Collide, we got a snowman there, superheroes, dead thing, nerds, oh my gosh. This video is all kinds of crazy Worlds Collide going on. But it's a shame I'm fixing to end it later.